<laughs> hey there, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Hopefully you're doing as well as this feller. That's uh, Scotty the Photo Cat. And he is uh, 18 years old. And he's been with me since about 2004. And when we got him, the vet said he was about two. So we're not really sure how old he is, but he's an old fella and he's doing great. He's slowing down a little bit, but he's doing good. So um, yeah, so if he wants to sit in my lap while I'm trying to make this video for the 53rd time, that's just fine. Scotty pretty much gets anything he wants these days. So, okay, that's not why you're here for what you're here for. Um, it's kind of a lull right now, and uh, there haven't been a lot of videos. Um, the fall photo season is almost upon us, and this is the time of year that I look forward to every year. Um, I have three major trips planned um, for the next three months, at the end of each month. Um, and next week, I'm headed off to the Sawtooth Mountains or back to the Sawtooth Mountains. Um, there's three, two shots I want to get, and there's a third area I want to spend some time in. And that's how this works, you know. You uh, go to a place you've never been before, you scope it out, and you really have to go back, you know, most of the time, maybe multiple times, to get the shots that you're looking for. Um, the th two shots that I identified is I want to get a shot... There's a ridge line that has uh, quaking aspen, lots of them, the most I've seen anywhere in Idaho. Um, and I've been looking. And um, I, the leaves should be turning uh, yellow now. And with the silver bark and the silver white bark that they have, they really have this beautiful bark, I want to uh, see what I can get uh, there. Um, that's near Redfish Lake. Um, near Stanley Lake, I want to get the shot of Mount McGowan reflected in the lake with um, the 4x5 on black and white film. And um, so that's the plan there. I'd like to get, um, to get that shot. And the third thing I want to check out is there is... Um, Scotty the photo cat took off. <laughs> the third thing I want to check out is there's an area on the way up to those um, Quaking Aspen where uh, this uh, creek runs through, it's about a 30 foot wide creek, so it's a pretty, pretty big creek. Um, not, I wouldn't call it a river, it's more of a creek. But um, it runs down a slope um, and it cascades for about a thousand feet through these uh, ponderosa pine trees, through a pine tree forest. And uh, that's, uh, that strikes me as a target rich environment. I found it right at the end of my last trip there and didn't get an opportunity to uh, explore it in detail. But there, I, I know that uh, there is a lot of potential there, and so that's exciting. Um, so in the next com com uh, couple of weeks, months, etc., I've got uh, some uh, trips planned and videos planned from those trips, hopefully, fingers crossed. Okay. Um, secondly, what I'd like to share with you today is um, archival methods. I picked up a few of these this week, and they're a lot of fun. It's the uh, Archival Mat and Presentation Kit 11 by 14, and I think they have different sizes. They're about uh, 10 to 12 bucks. I got these from B&H. There's a link in the description below for the link to uh, uh, Amazon sells them. And um, it consists of an archival mat with a backing board with a piece of uh, tape to hinge the mat to the backing board and the uh, corners to mount your photograph in. It's not a custom mat, but it's a nice mat, and it's archival. And it also comes with a clear bag that when you're all done, you can slide the uh, finished print into the clear bag for storage if you don't want to frame your photograph in an 11 by 14. And so um, here's what it looks like with a photograph in it. And that is a darkroom, silver gelatin fiber-based darkroom print, selenium tone that I made in my darkroom. And that's of uh, Deer Creek, Oregon. And that leads me to my next topic, which is this is print number six so far in my 2021 box set, the folio box set, which is right over there. And so um, it's, it's a, this is a soft launch. I'm working on a video to present the whole thing and show you what it's all about. But if you want to check that out, um, I actually soft launched it about two weeks ago on my website. 
and uh, it's a limited edition of 45, and seven of, them, seven of them have sold already, which is absolutely phenomenal. I, I am so humbled and, and appreciative and impressed that um, I sold uh, seven of them. I think that's fantastic. Thank you so much to everybody who's been following my work and following my website, because I really didn't mention it too much anywhere that I know of so far. So, um, so this is a little bit more of the soft launch kind of a teaser. Um, Rock Wall from Collab Canyon is print number one. And um, why I made this print is I wanted to show you that uh, the prints have about a quarter of an inch border and uh, they fit perfectly in those mats. So that's something you could do with the box set prints, the folio box set prints, if you wanted to. This is just a test print so far. Um, the real prints will be stamped and have the limited edition numbers and things like that on them. So there's that. And the last thing that I wanted to cover this week was, um, and hence the title of the whole video, which is kind of a little clickbaity, and I apologize about that. But hey, I need to get this channel going, right? Please subscribe. Please like. Hit the bell. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. Um, yeah, so... Um, Thomas Heaton's latest video, or one of his most recent, more recent videos of him in the kayak, you know, from a solo content creator's perspective, which I am aspiring to be, but I'm just a total amateur compared to, you know, Thomas Heaton or Andy Mumford, etc. I mean, their videos are like um, BBC or uh, public broadcasting documentary level quality. And just, wow, you know, it, at least it gives me something to shoot for. I never aspired to be a videographer, but at this point, I'm really taking it very seriously and trying as hard as I can to do the best that I can. And I look at some of these things, and particularly Thomas Heaton's kayak video, his shots, what, you know, just if you haven't seen the video, go watch Thomas Heaton's video where he's in the uh, camping on the Scottish locks with the kayak and the drone footage in particular. Like, I, I know the drone is stationary, it's not moving, but he had to set the shot up. And, the, you know, if he, he was uh, camping with another guy, and if the other guy was controlling the drone, okay, but I don't think so. And, um, you know, how he got the shot set up and then drifted through it, and the, the shots are just perfect. Um, he, if he did it to take, he had to get the drone out there, kayak through it, look at it, and then do it again. I mean, when he's kayaking, he doesn't have the controller in his hands. So he, I, you know, just, it doesn't seem humanly possible, but, you know, Thomas Heaton has the skill and the talent. I mean, there's no question about that. His videos are just, you know, the, the, the bar has, it has been set. Those are the videos to, to reach for in terms of quality. So, yeah. On that note, I'm going to run in a little um, footage that for some reason of mine, uh, that for some reason didn't make it into a video. And um, ironically uh, or interestingly, I have at this point hundreds of hours of video just like the video I'm going to roll in at the end here. So, I, you know, I, I don't see what the problem is. I'm not sure why I didn't use it. Um, it's riveting content. And so I hope you guys appreciate it. So anyway, please like, please subscribe. You notice the uh, videos are not uh, um, containing ads anymore. Um, I finally have decided. I know I'm wishy-washy, and I apologize. I go back and forth. I'm not sure what I'm doing, but uh, I'm trying to figure this out. So um, the videos don't have ads in them anymore, so please uh, subscribe, like, etc. That's what I need. It costs you nothing. Helps me out tremendously. That's what I've got this week. Um, not sure anything's going to happen next week, but it might be a couple of weeks before I make another video, but I'll be traveling. So have a great one. Like, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think, and I appreciate it. We'll catch you guys later. Bye. See you out there. Bye. Thank you.